Hi and welcome. I'm Andrea and this is the Mainstream Reiki YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. In this week's video, we're going to talk about grounding and why that's important. And I'm going to give you two quick little tips that you can use anytime to become more grounded, which better supports your energy system. And that just means you're going to function in every way, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually better. When you're grounded, everything is just better. If you're not sure this even pertains to you, well, I've got some questions for you. Have you ever felt scattered, like you can't get anything done that's on your to-do list? Spacey or lightheaded? Or maybe you've just felt stuck or had trouble listening and learning? Or how about you feel that you pick up too much energy from other people? I know I see a lot of clients who check off a lot of those boxes. And if you're like them, then I'd stick around and listen to these couple of tips. Give them a try and let me know how they work for you. We have energy centers at the bottom of each foot. And if those are blocked and not fully open, then the supply of energy that we need to take in from the earth isn't there. So we're not going to be supported fully with the amount of energy we need to flow in and around our bodies for optimum health and vitality. An easy way to make sure that you are aligned to the energies of the earth and that ener those energy centers on the bottom of your feet are open and receptive is with a spoon, believe it or not. So this is a stainless steel spoon. And what you do, you want to uh, just, even in your socks or your bare feet, you wanna just take the spoon and rub the bottom of your foot. I know it sounds kind of crazy, right? But that's okay, that's all right. So you just rub it like this over the bottom of your foot. You can do your toes too if you want. I think it just feels surprisingly good to do. Anyway, you would do that. Just cover your whole foot. And then you would do the other foot as well. Just like that. Again, just a stainless steel spoon. And what this is doing is it's going to open up that energy center and make sure the charge on the bottom of your feet is opposite to the charge of the earth. And when opposites attract, then they can be in relationship and an energy exchange can occur. The second part of the exercise is thumping. And if you've never heard of thumping, it's just about what it says. So thumping, we're gonna do uh, the four thumps. And Donna Eden in her energy medicine classes explains how to do this and, and why it works. And I'm not gonna take all the time to do that, but you can look her up on YouTube and find out all the information that you'd like, Donna Eden. And she's got a website too called innersource.net. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the thumping. And what this does, you're gonna just take your fingers like this and you're gonna thump these bones pretty firmly. I'm gonna tap right there. You're tapping. We have meridians that run through the body. And what we're doing is we're activating our bodies energetically to ground. And my feet are flat on the floor right now. Taking a deep breath. All right, the next one. We're going to find our clavicle here. You've got two corners. You're going to come down and out a little bit. I don't know, down maybe an inch or so and out an inch or so. And it's in that point you're going to tap. You're going to tap like this. Pretty strong. And let's take a deep breath. This is called the K27 point. It's on the kidney meridian. Next, we're going to do the sternum, and you're just going to tap like this. You can tap with your fingertips if you want to. And that, lastly, we're going to do the spleen point, which is if you put your hand under your armpit, about right there, right off the bottom of your hand. So that's pretty high to get to. So I actually like to cross over and do it like that. That's the spleen point. So we've done four kinds of thumping. We did the cheeks, the clavicle, the sternum, and now the spleen point. And we're just tapping. Deep breath. I think I'm better with my right hand. Anyway, so that's all you have to do to be grounded. And again, I just want to give you a quick visual to understand this a little bit better. You know, um, as above, so below. I think we've probably all heard that somewhere along the line. And what I'd like to, to, to visualize here is a tree. 
And when we see healthy, beautiful trees with big, beautiful branches, leaves, and they're vibrant and stunning and broad, if we were to look at their roots, they'd never have puny little roots. As above, so below. When a tree is so beautiful and broad like that and healthy, the root system is a mirror to that. So in order to function properly in our minds and our thinking and our emotions, we need to be grounded because it's, a, it's like a root into the, into the planet energetically that helps hold us steady. And if you're a person who is very much up here thinking all the time, then what that normally does, it just sort of pulls your energy up, makes you less grounded the more you're up here. You have to have a balance there. So if you're up here a lot, if you feel scattered a lot, um, sort of like uh, disorganized, um, inability to focus, things like that, and if you're taking on a lot of energy from other people, please begin to ground every single morning before you go out in the world. Do it every single night before you go to bed. And any other time that you uh, think of it throughout the day, just take a few minutes to do this quick thing. So you can get a spoon and carry it in your purse or you know put it in your desk drawer. Um, it's quick and easy and it doesn't cost a thing. Oh, and one more thing. If you're a Reiki practitioner and you get headaches, that is a clear sign you're not grounded enough. Well, that's my quick video for this week. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please like it and feel free to comment down below. If you are on a smartphone, you have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can leave a comment there. If you're on Facebook, you can certainly just comment there if you'd like. I love to hear your comments and any questions and ideas for new videos. So keep them coming and thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate it and wish you all the highest Reiki blessings.